We say greetings to all of you that have joined us via the live stream audio or the live visual stream that emanates here from Teshua community from the congregation of Yahweh's congregation. I want to somewhat position myself to be comfortable tonight because I want to with a methodical approach and that is to define each concept and each instruction that we may understand the whole counsel of Almighty Yahweh. That is the call as our Zachin Yaramiya so often inject into his teachings and that is the fullness of his voice when he speaks unto a nation that he has called Yisraya a nation that prevails by the power of the testimony Yoshua HaMashiach. I do greet you all again that have joined us. I was talking to our precious friend and Ak Charles Davis there in Los Angeles, California, and he said to me, Riach, once I get off from work, I am in a haste to get home, especially for Chatvei Imat or Imat Chatvei, and also on the Shemach Yisraya. He catches the bus to work and home, and so he says, I am in a haste, so we hope that he is home at this time to join us. Yeah. And all of you that have joined us on this teaching on tonight, it is vitally important that we understand, to understand, and that is uh, to be now, to have the wisdom uh, to discern whether it is of Yah and the principles, um, whereby the fullness of the knowledge of that principle uh, is applicable, or the application of that uh, is relevant to what a person is saying or our understanding of the matter or the issue. We have so many among Yisraya that their minds, uh, they really don't have the mind of Yoshua HaMashiach. And they really don't understand. And there are things that we must be prepared for when those that will take one writing of the Torah or some minutia, and then they utilize that to establish doctrines that are so conceited, wicked, and so full of error because they wretch. They literally turn and twist the Torah. So tonight's teaching, while well, it may not be the most motivating one, but to hear the Torah in any form to me is motivation. And so I want to teach on the doctrine or the teaching of the Torah of throughout the generations of Yisrael. When we look at the word throughout in its Semitic or Hebraic form, it is tomids. It is continuance, completion. It is without ceasing. It is for the time, the duration and the words generation, as we understand it, it has more of an implication than a certain period of time. Certainly it deals with that, but it comes from the Shemetic word that is dura, dura. And dura we express in our vernacular duration. And so Yah says throughout your door, your generations, your dwelling, the place where you live, wherever you are confined in your circumstances, that there are things that I have commanded you must do throughout Tomim, your door, your generations. It cannot cease. It must be done to fulfill all the instructions the hukha, the statutes that I command you. And so I want to teach on that because there are those that will eject out of the Torah those things that they believe that give them some kind of pontification to make themselves righteous and those that do not know. And so they have this sense of superior knowledge of Torah over those that do not act or participate in their same activities. So that is the teaching tonight. We must be abreast of it. 
we must be aware of it because uh, we, we must be able to challenge these teachings and concepts uh, that have been birthed and bathed in the mind of ignorance. Uh, that's why Yah said, who shall I give the command of my Torah? Those that are weaned from milk, for line must be upon line and line upon line. And precept upon precept. And you must understand a little from here and a little from there. So shall I give this unto babes or unto those that are seasoned with wisdom and knowledge and those that have labored in the Torah. The Torah is the directions, the directives of Yah's instructions to produce wisdom according to his ordinance or his hukha, what he has prescribed. What he has mandated. That is what the Torah means. So that is the teaching tonight. The Torah of uh, throughout your generation. So if Yah commands us to an activity or a hukha, a statue, then we must do it throughout our generations. Let us see how we have as a nation, how we have uh, obeyed Yah, According to the Torah, how we have demonstrated what he has commanded us, or as Shaul says, we are complete in Yahshua. We are either complete in him or we are incomplete. And I want to begin here in the book of Bimitz Bar. It is one of those places whereby you find those because they wear what they call fringes. And many of them, they have this wearing of the fringes, fringes that they have received from what we call Judaism. It is not about what Torah says. When one seeks out the understanding of sikh, sikh, uh, tassels or uh, the, the uh, fringes on their garment, uh, it has more to do with we see the little strings uh, hanging down. It has more to do with the debating as to what blue. They don't understand the Hebraic expression of it. And so they tend to form their little groups of superior wisdom and superior righteousness because they wear tizzles. It can be made of hair. It was a border of painting and colors. It has more to do than four little strings hanging down. That is the concept of what we call the Ashkenazi Jews. Has nothing to do with Yah. And if you are not abreast and wise, you will be taken under this, uh, this guise uh, as though that this purports uh, a tremendous identity to Yah and that you have a great strength and the knowledge of the Torah. That is just not so. I want to begin here in the book of Bimet, Barnabas chapter 15. This is the Torah, the instructions the counsel, uh, it is the wisdom of Yah, the precept, uh, whereby Yah grants unto the body, and that body is Yisra'ah, for his legal directives that we obey. It says in the book of Numbers 15.37, it uses the words Amma, and Yah spoke to Moshe the same word, saying, when we hear that the Amma, it is the utterance, it is the speech, it is the called the voice of Yah, he spoke unto Moshe, saying, he commanded him to Amar to speak unto the children of Yisrael. He said, and I want you to tell them to make sikh, sikh. I want you to tell them to make tassels or, or locks uh, with, with hair, with, with borders of coloring uh, around uh, their garment. He said, in the border of their garment, uh, and this is the catalyst, I want you uh, to be mindful of this as I teach tonight. And everything that I teach will emphasize uh, these three words. Uh, he uses the words uh, throughout, to mean. It is indefinite. It is no season of its at all. It must be carried out to the thorough perfection uh, that Yah commands. He says throughout their borders of their garments, throughout their generation. We're dealing with the door. Generation, the dura that express your dwelling, your country, whatever place you are in, you must comply to this instruction. It was not given unto Yisra'ah as a hukha. 
as a statue. What is prescribed, this was the utterance of Yah, and that was the reason for it. He said, throughout your generation, they may put fringes upon, upon the borders of a ribbon cord, and he tells them threads, twisted, of tichelith, tichelith. He tells them the color blue. And so what color blue? Is it from the extreme of the violets? And it is. So no one can tell you the actual color of blue from the extreme. So he uses the word here. He uses the word tequila. That I want you to make sure that everyone uh, dress the borders of their outward garments uh, with this tassel. He said it should be done throughout your generation. Tomim door, door Tomim. It must be a continuance, it cannot cease. So if we don't do it, then we're in defiance of the Torah of Yah. I'm doing this because there, there, there are specifics I want to bring out tonight. The thing that we must understand, we have people that see uh, one minutia of one uh, descriptive of Yah, and they run with that without reading the book and understanding uh, the totality of the book. And we must understand the total emphasis of the book. He says the most important thing here is throughout your generation. That that's what everyone says. They will take you to that, they will take you to this specific throughout your generation. Why? It shall be for a fringe, a sik sik, that you may look upon it and remember all the mitzvah, the commandments, the works, the instructions of Yah. And he said, I want you to asa, you must fashion your mind, you must fashion your conscience according to Yah's instructions. You must do them. And that you seek not after your own love, of your own eye, your own spiritual and mental perception of matters, uh, of which you have used to go a zana, to go a whoring, uh, or in essence we are unfaithful to Yah. And that is what zana is. He said, when you began to, uh, when you began to ask counsel of your own heart, you began to uh, fall away from me. And then you began to seek the counsel of the wicked. The most important thing here is throughout your generation. If y'all said it, it must be done. If y'all commands us throughout our generations, uh, it must be done. Are there other equivalents to that in Torah? Well, let us take us on a journey of the Torah throughout your generations. We will do that, Yisrael. And I will use the first five books and I will conclude uh, out of the Brits Hadassah with words of strength and how we comply and we are complicit in all things. Uh, turn your attention to the book of Shemoth Exodus chapter 27 and verse 20. This is the Torah of the all of the lambs, the near. And that is what the lamp is. It is the light. Well, what are the true lights of Yisrael? Is it this menorah here? Or is it the light of the Ruach HaKodash? Or is it the light of the fear of Yah? Or is it is the light of the wisdom of Yah? Is it the light of the understanding of Yah? As we taught here once, uh, Sukkot, the seven, the Ruachim, or the Sabbath, Ruachim of Yah. So he commands here in Shemoth 27.20. He says, you shall command the bane of Yisrael that they may bring you pure olive oil beaten for the near or the ore. That's what they must bring. It must be a pure offering, a pure oil, a pure refreshing. For what purpose? To cause the lamp to burn always. The light of Yah's Kingdom knowledge should always burn among Yisra'ya. He said, in the tabernacle of the Moed place outside of the veil, which is before the testimony. And he commands, Aharan, it is sun shall be ordered, it from evening to the morning before Yah. Listen, it shall be a statue or a hookah, an ordinance unto Yisra'ya, he said, forever to their generations uh, on behalf of the children of Yisrael. 
Now, if we are complicit with what I read in Bemidbar, and this light in the tabernacle of Yah, then there is no tabernacle whereby we can gather outside of the veil. And Yahshua has desecrated the veil that kept us from going into the presence of Yah to bring uh, the offering. So as if that is, uh, is complicit uh, or this is relevant uh, in Bemidbar, certainly this is as well. Where is the pure oil uh, that caused the lamp of Yah to burn in the tabernacle? He said this now. He did not say in Bemidbar 15 uh, that this was a stature forever through their generation. But he said uh, this is. This is a hookah. This is what I prescribe. This is what I mandate. And you must do it. And he said it must be done forever to their generation. Same expression. No difference in the expression. Well, you said that this was a teaching on the Torah of throughout your generation. We are teaching that Yisrael. So if I am one that is offend one in one point of the Torah, then I'm guilty of all offensive Yisrael. He said, this must be done. Now, where are the children of Haran or the Levi? Well, from the prognostication of many, they're all in the Isle of Haiti. So then you have no true offering. This is what Yah commands. That the light, uh, what light? The light of the Ruach. The light of the fear of Yah. The light of wisdom, the light of understanding, it must burn from evening to morning, from evening to morning without cease, without, uh, without deceasing or de desist. And it must be filled with the all of Yah, what all, the all of gladness, uh, of the power, the testimony of Yahshua. He goes on here in the book of Shemoth 29, verse 42, this must be a continual burnt offering among the children of Yisrael. Listen to this. In verse, chapter 29, verse 42. He talks about the, the Torah, the continuous burnt offering. That Yah promised that if we do that, He will dwell among us. How do we do this, Yisrael? Listen to this. He says in verse 42 of Exodus, Shemoth, 29, 42. There shall be a continuous burnt offering... Does it say that in your rendition? Does it say throughout your generations? So have we continued the offering of the burnt offering to Yah? See, there are those that uh, they can deduct what they feel uh, that gives them some kind of grandizing, uh, 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 some kind of grandizing uh, religious type of euphoric. But this is what Yah commands. He said, must be done throughout your generation at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before Yah, where I will meet you. In order for me to meet you there, if the seek seeks or to remember the Torah of Yah, then the fire of the all of Yah must burn continuously if he's going to meet us there. You cannot reject one application and hold fast to the other. Yah says, this is where I will meet you. We must have the lamp of the Ruach of Yah burning in us. And we must enter into his praises with the continuous burning of the fire of Tota unto Yah. Does he say that in your book? He says it. Yah says, I will meet you there and speak there to you. It must be done continuously. It must be done throughout your generation. It cannot be no cease, Yisrael. There must be the offering that is burning. We must allow the fire of Torah burn down in the depths of Abu Zam that we offer up the praise of Torah ar Abba. Oh, I'm going, this, this is, we have not even entered on the threshold here. All right? So if be mid bar 15, 37, 38 is, we must be complicit to, then we must be complicit to this as well. You said, I will meet you there, or I will, in verse 43, he said, and there will I, I will meet to fix all things. I will, I will meet you there, it is where I, have appointed, this is the only place I will meet you, this is my appointed place, this is my moed, but the offering must be continuous throughout all of your generations. The fire cannot go out, 
It cannot cease. It must be done. He says, and there I will meet with the children of Israel. He says, at the Beat Mikdash, the tabernacle shall be set apart by my splendid, by my excellent, my beauty. I shall set my Beats apart. In essence, it shall be Kadosh. And the only way is Kadosh. We must keep the offerings of the fire or the ish burning at the Bayat, the tabernacle of Yah, where he shall meet Israel, and he speaks to us as a nation. He said, and it shall be done throughout Domim Dor, throughout your generation. So you can reject this aspect, and then you hold fast to that. Well, that's not enough. Oh, I have a preponderance of evidence of Torah to show you how ignorant this generation is, because they have boys before them, they have foolish old men that take one reading of the book and they think that they are knowledgeable of Torah. You don't get this by, by a tremendous discipline. When you cannot sleep and when you're willing to sleep, you must labor to understand this. This doesn't come by reading T.D. Jakes books. This doesn't come by listening to the masses of these damn fruitcakes out here. Can I move a little further? All right. Let me read this out of... Shemoth, Exodus 30, I want to begin at verse 8. Hallelujah. It says that when Aharon lights the lamp at evening, he shall burn incense upon it perpetually. To me, it shall never cease. What is the fragrance of Yisrael? It is the power of the testament of Yahshua? Or is it some incense because you set uh, these fragrances in here? You tell me that's the incense of Yah. But he says it should be perpetual. It should be continuous. It should stretch forward. He said this incense before Yah throughout your generation. Now what is the smell of the fragrance of Yah? Is it the power of Yahshua's testimony? Or do we light candles and we cause incense to burn? He said it must be done throughout your generation. Or is it the fragrance of the power of the testimony of Yahshua? Which one is it? But well, that's not relevant. It doesn't uh, equate to much. Well, let's move on then. He said, you shall offer no strange incense thereon, thereupon, nor burn any offering or zebak or sacrifice, nor meat offering, neither shall you pour drink offering thereon. Verse 10 of Exodus 30, 10. And a haran shall make, only a haran now, listen to this, Yisra'ya. Does it say a haran shall make? He shall make a kafah, an atonement. How? An atonement upon the kerim, the throne or the altar of Yah. Of it, once a year, with the blood of the sin offering of the atonement. Look what it says now. Only a haran. And those that are of the tribe of Levi. How often should we do that? He says here. It shall be done once in a year. Shall he make the kapha upon it? Does it say throughout your generations? Yes. Throughout your generation. So in essence, there must be a blood offering made. There are fools uh, that are trying to make blood offerings. This is what the Torah commands. That's why I wanted us to sing the song of the Dom of Yoshua, Hamashiach. Because all the offering of the red heifers and the bullocks, they were not clean. They were going sin with this dumb. There's the guiltiness of the conscience. Did he say throughout your generation? Did he not say the seed seed throughout your generation? Did he not say the incense throughout your generation? Did he not say the all throughout your generation? It is perpetual. Huh? Sure, he means what he says. He doesn't back down. Every word that he speaks is pure. How do we... Once a year for the atonement of Yisrael, he said that it must be done. He make an atonement upon it throughout your generation. It is most kodash unto Yah. I ask the question of God, does it say throughout the generation? Or some of the generations? It's throughout, it is to needs. It is perpetual, it is continuance, it's without ceasing throughout your 
door, D-O-R-E, throughout your dura, your duration of the existence of a nation called Israel. It must be done. Listen, it must be done. That's why we ought to enter with a light of precious praises to Yah, to tell the Yah for your shoe Hamashiach, because you could not do it. You could not do it. Well, that is not sufficient, man, it isn't. Well, can I move a little further? Well, I may. Whether I have the permission or not, I shall. Can I go to the 30th chapter down to verse 18 of Shemoth? This is the Torah of the brazen or the brass lever or the key or the basins, the pots. Hallelujah. This is what Yah spoke unto Moshe sin in the 18th verse. He says, you shall make a chihor uh, of brass, and his foot also of brass to watch. And you shall put it between the tabernacle of, and the people. It shall be, it shall be uh, in the midst. It shall separate the congregation from the people. And the altar, and you shall put water therein, todayah, for the living well. Your sure Hamashiach. What can wash away all my sins? Nothing but the dam of Yahshua HaMashiach. Listen. For Haran and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet thereat. It must be done. They must wash their feet there. When they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall wash with water. At least they die. I'm glad that I can. Allow the washing of the living water of the Torah to wash away my sins. And I bring no burden in the bed of your own shivats. You understand? He said, if they don't do it, listen, they will move. They will die prematurely because they did not adhere to the wise counsel of Almighty Yahweh. He saw uh, when they come near the altar to minister, like I am here tonight, uh, there was a process of washing. And if the Torah doesn't cleanse me and wash my mind uh, before I come before the, the congregation of Yah, if the blood, uh, if that water that came out of the side of Yahshua is not the cleansing atonement for my sins, uh, then we are in deep despair of trouble. He said to burn, he said to minister, to burn uh, offerings made by fire to Yah. Listen what it says in verse 21. So they shall wash their hand and their feet that they die not. And then he says it shall be a statue forever. Does it say forever? Yeah. That's olam viads. Without ceasing forever to them. Even, even, make no mistake what Yah says. Even to him and to his zira throughout their generations. Have we missed it here? Sure we have. In this application, in this process, you have missed it. He said it must be done. He says, now this is so vital. I make it a hukha, a statue, that it must be done not only at your season, Aharan, but to your zira, the zira of Yisra'ya. How often shall we do it throughout your generations. It must be done. It has to be done. And if without doing it, we have sinned according to the Torah against Yah. I'm glad that we are complete. Hallelujah. 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 In Him, in Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. He is the head of all principalities and powers. He is the head. And in him we do all things. Hallelujah. Everything that he commands us, we must do it. Hallelujah. Listen to this quite carefully. The same chapter, we want to kind of miss one or two verses here. Now this is the command of Yah. He commands us with the precise instructions in verse 23. He says, now I want you to take the principal spices... Exodus, Shemoth 30, 23. I want you to take the principal spices uh, of the pure myth. He said it must be 500 shekels and sweet cinnamon, half as that. Even 250 shekels and sweet calmness. 
I'm 250 shekels. He said, I want you to take the cassia, 500 shekels. Uh, and uh, after the shekels of the Kodash place, uh, he said, and of the or olive of a hen, a hen. Hear this, Yisrael, and you shall make it. I'm glad that your shoe is the fragrant and the oil uh, of the mirth, of the cassia. I'm glad that the smell and the fragrance of your shoe are Hamashiach. The fragrance of the offering that we offer unto Yah is greater than the, uh, the, the, the aroma of these. Uh, pure. He said it must be pure. Where do you find it? Where do you get the pure mirth? We have the pure ruach. The oil of gladness. We have the pure oil of gladness. We're glad that Yah has completed it all in your Yeshua HaMashiach. He tells us how to make it in verse 25. And you shall make it an oil of uh, Kodash anoint, uh, ornament. Uh, he said an ornament compound uh, after the work of the perfumer. He said this shall be the Chadosh anointing oil. Uh, and you shall anoint the tabernacle and the congregation. We have felt that. As far as the fragrance of the oil of Yah, yes. we have felt that you can talk to your mind any way you want to. Yes. But you're not dealing with some rough shot here. You're not dealing with a naha, a boy here. You may be impressed with the boy, but you're not dealing with the boy here. You understand? I was speaking today to what I said. To, does the Torah talk about great men? Not every man is great, but the Torah talks about great men. It talks about mighty men. Not every man is a mighty man. But every man wants to ascend to that height. And he's not a mighty man. He's not a cat old man. Not every man. The word ish, as I often say, it means the strength of one's masculinity. You can take it any way you want to. You got a bunch of boys here. That's all in this world today, boys. Nachar. Hear this carefully. In Exodus, she 30, 26. He commands us to anoint the tabernacle of the congregation with it. He said, and the ark of the... It's uh, of the testimony of my power. It shall be anointed. And the table and all of its vessels that are used for the, Are we the vessels of Yah? Are we earthen vessels? In and in every great house is that there are all kinds of vessels. Vessels of gold and silver. Vessels of earth and clay. Vessels of honor. Vessels of dishonor. Isn't it not so? He said you shall anoint all of them. And the candlesticks. So it's vessels and the altar and incense. He says, and the altar of the burnt offering, where is the offering? Where is the offering of fire that should issue, or should be the issue that flows from our bellies? He said, it shall be on the burnt offering um, with all its vessels and the lever at its, uh, at its foot. You shall set them apart that they may be most kodash. Whosoever touch them shall be called out. So he said that those utensils are, are the bay at that anyone touch them uh, as the woman that the issue of blood flowed uh, from her body. We have the issue of blood uh, and that blood is our sin nature. And when she touched the very hem uh, of the purity of the garment of Yeshua HaMashiach, uh, she was made whole. Yeah. And whoever touched that shall be uh, called out. Ah, that's beautiful, yeah. He said, and you shall anoint Aharon and his sons, and you shall consecrate them. This is the only way that they could be set apart to minister. How can we be set apart to minister? Our minds filled with every kind of corrupt thing. You're trying to get the last minute of this of the ball game and that before you even come into Yah's bed. How, how in hell, in this hellish cess, pool of wickedness? Listen. And you shall speak. You shall honor. You shall honor. You shall honor. With my voice you shall speak to the children of Israel. Saying uh, this. Only this. So this what we use. Uh, it has no relevance. He said this shall be the Kodesh. Anointing all to me. If it's not done this way. It's not worth a dime. He said it shall be to me throughout 
your generations it is perpetual it cannot cease i bless my abba yahweh for the fragrance of the purity of the perfumer and that perfume is your sure hamashiach he said must be done throughout your generation where do we find the ingredients tell me you need leaders that are strong no boy wants to listen to a man. That's why they got to tell them and show them, just like your son, he would daddy, or my, me, unto my parent or parents. Always got to tell them. This is what Yah says. He said, throughout your generation, that's what boys like to do show and show off. A wise man, he ponders everything. He doesn't even just open his mouth, he ponders the matter. He listens. When he speaks, it's best to be quiet. He, does he say throughout your generation? So uh, we got to find out how many, what the score is. We got to see whether we flunk. I'm glad that your shoe is the price paid in full. Where, where do you get the mirth? Does he say throughout your generation? He said this must be done throughout your generations. It must be passed from uh, Aharan Zira on down. And yet there's a generation, you know there's a group uh, there in Chicago, the one that I wrote the rebuttal uh, to the article that you cannot keep the Mo'adim outside of Yerushalayim. Now they will knock over a cow to make sure they got on the tizzles, but they will tell you you can work on the Shabbat. They will tell you you can work on the Shabbat. They will not keep the Mo'adim of Yah. And yet they have their regala as to do that they are most prominent and kadosh. And they are not. And we get infatuated with individuals as silly as they are, thinking that they have some kind of spiritual revelation. I give you revelation today. I give you profound revelation. I give you knowledge of the real power of Yahshua HaMashiach. Well, that's not enough, man. Well, let me ask you this then. It says in Shemoth, uh, Exodus 31, 13. Do we, is this now, I want to show you the very power of throughout your generation. Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. It says, speak also to the children of Israel, saying, verily, my Shabbats. It does not say a Shabbat, does it? It says, my Shabbats. It's plural. My Shabbat you shall keep, you shall shema, you shall observe, you shall watch it. Uh, it is a sign between me and you, how often? Throughout your generations. So everything I've read is throughout your generations. And that's why the Sudik man the fall seven times. Yeshua has made us complete. And the power of Torah. So we see here where he says, his Shabbat shall be kept throughout our generation. Does he say that? Okay. Okay. Let's move a little farther then. Hallelujah. He tells us the importance of the, Torah, of the Shabbat in verse 16 of the same chapter. He says this is the Torah of the importance of the Shabbat. What I just read was the Torah of the observance of the Shabbat. He says, wherefore, Exodus 31, 16, wherefore the children of Yisrael shall keep the Shabbat to observe the Shabbat throughout their generation. Does it say that? Is that has the same parative uh, as uh, all the other throughout I've read? Well, that doesn't mean much right there, preacher. It doesn't uh, have much uh, uh, of a... Of, of a, of a, a, a importance, of an importance unto us. I want to switch gears just a little bit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn to be mitzvah quickly. I'll get back on the course. Numbers chapter 19. And I want to begin in verse 11. This is the Torah. This is the Torah of the purification of Yisra'ya. I want you to hear this Yisra'ya. Numbers be bar 19 verse 11. It says, He that touched the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven days. We were dead 
in our trespasses uh, in sin. That's why we lay hands suddenly on no man. He's talking about a dead body. It has the same relevance today. Uh, when we lay hands on those that, uh, that willingly sin of Gansia. He shall be purified. He shall purify himself uh, with it on the third day. And on the seventh day he shall be clean. But if he pure not, find not himself on the third day, then the seventh day he shall not be clean. Hear this, Yisrael, verse 13. Whosoever touch a dead body of any man that is dead and purifies not himself, defiles the tabernacle of Yah. That's what he said. You defile the tabernacle of Yah. Don't enter into his house. And the nephesh shall be cut off. He used the word kakarath. Kakarath. I will totally eviscerate, annihilate, annihilate. I will bring him down to the gates of death and hell. How do we get purified? We touch an unclean man, someone that is wicked. How are we purified? Moving on. Because the water of separation was not sprinkled upon him. He shall be unclean. His uncleanness is yet upon him. He's unclean and there's no cleansing. I'm so glad I don't bear my sins. I'm glad of that. I couldn't bear them. I'm a worthless thing. I have nothing to offer you. What do you have? And he asked for something that he put in us. The breath of to die above. Verse 14. Does it say this is the Torah? This is the Torah. When a man dies in a tent, all that comes into the tent, all that is in the tent shall be unclean seven days. And every open vessel which no cover bound upon it is unclean. And whosoever touch one that is slain with a sword uh, in the open field of the dead body, or the bones of a man, of the bone of a man, or the grave, shall be unclean seven days. Yosef said, when you leave out uh, of this gosha, you take my bones. You don't leave a bone here in this wicked place. Uh, Take my bones. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Verse 19 is the catalyst. He says, For an unclean person shall take the ashes of a burnt heifer of purification for sin. And the running water shall be put there on the vessels. You all hear that? It must be a red heifer. A heifer is a cow that has not produced a calf. This is the command of Yah. At a clean person taking hyssop and dipping it in the water and sprinkling it upon the tent and upon the vessel and upon the person that were there and upon him that touched the bones of one slain or dead or grave. Listen to Yah Yisrael. Verse 20. But the man shall be unclean and shall not purify himself. That nephesh shall be karat karat from among the congregation because he had defiled the tabernacle of Yah. The waters of separation has been sprinkled upon him and he is unclean. Verse 21. And it shall be a stature forever. To them... That sprinkle water of separation shall wash his clothes. And he that touched the water of the separation shall be unclean for seven days. Does he say that this is Olam V. Ant? It is the same throughout your generation. One place he uses the word to me which has the same meaning of Olam V. Ant. He said this must, you must have the red heifer. I thank Yah for the sprinkling of the dam of Yeshua HaMashiach. I bless y'all for the sprinkling. You see, there are those that will hold fast certain aspects and certain components of things. But you must fulfill all things. We must do all this. And the only way we can do it in Yeshua HaMashiach. With that mind, that is the only mind that pleases Yah Yisrael. You can't do it any other way. His Shabbat, his Shabbat, his Shabbat is throughout our generation. It is. Hallelujah. Well, what about the offering? What about the Torah of the peace offering? Do we go and get it right with our ark or, or we offer according to the Torah commands? Well, we will examine that in Weyera in Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 3 verse 16. Hallelujah. We talk about the peace offering of one's herd. How many people have herds today? We don't have no herd of cattle or sheep. We have a few. 
We certainly do not have a herd. I saw some Brahma bulls the other day. I don't know where I was coming from. But these were some of the most powerful looking Brahmas. Where was I coming from ya? Yeah. I said, look at these bulls. And they had a herd of bulls. But this is what Yah says concerning the peace offering or the offering of Shalom in the book of Leviticus, chapter 3, verse 16. He says, and the Kohan shall burn them upon the offering altar. And it shall be food of an offering made by fire. You see this? He uses the word, I know what it says in your book, sweet savor. I understand the origin of the word savor. That's why I don't use it. But it shall be a sweet reach, like a reach, a friend, a sweet fragrance. All the fat is yours. Everything. All the fat, the kidney, the heart. It's yours. Then he says this. It shall be a perpetual, a olam, a hookah, a stature for your generations throughout all your dwelling. So we have fell, Yah, miserably. Where's the shalom offering? Where's the fat that belongs to Yah? It is the fat of our nefesh, of our offering. It is the fat of our gladness that we offer unto O Maria. He said this shall be done throughout. It is a statue. It is forever. It is olam. It is perpetual. Perpetual. And it shall be done throughout all of your generations and your dwelling. Through your door. Through the durra. It shall be done. This is what the book says. How are we so easily caught up uh, in the ignorance of men that have no knowledge of Torah? How we all caught up in that is folly, Israel. How we impress with individuals uh, that talk a talk but they have no exercise of that power in them. It's like you're telling me, man, I can do that. Well, man, do I. Don't tell me. Don't talk the talk. We must walk the walk. And they think they know and don't, don't know, Yisrael. That's why Yah says an elder that rules well. Uh, Yah said, join him on a double. Why? Because he has not, when you are asleep, he has labored. Uh, when, you are, well, when you are doing foolish things, he's laboring. Uh, he is contented uh, with the revelation of Yah. There are not many wise men today. Are you wise men know, I know that he is wise. Uh, and I know who I am in him. Hallelujah. Is this or this offering from the herds? Then there are those that are poor would be in trouble, would they not? There are those in the cities like New York, Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta, where the herds of cows. How do they bring a shalom offering to Yah? He said, this is for everything. It doesn't cease. It is perpetual. It's for your generations throughout all. Throughout all your dwelling. Dwellings, your generation door, your dwelling place, where you live, where you exist, where your life is promoted. That's what he means, Yisra'ya. And he means what he says. Can he lie? Is everything he says pure? So he means what he says. He knew me. Can I ask you a question? I will ask you the question. I will ask and I will answer it rhetorically. Was not you are sure the Torah made flesh and the word was made? He commanded us to do this because in the body of your sure it is all done and complete. That's why he is the word that is made. And there are those that are striving to perfect themselves in certain orders and certain rituals. And they are wicked, they are vile, and they have defiled themselves. And they lead astray those that are silly and simple-minded. They do. We must have strong men. We don't have that war unto us. I was saying to one today, that's what got David in trouble. When it was time where the kings were at the battle, you cannot be a king if you were not fit. You have to be ready to go forth. You led the charge. When he knew it was time for him to be in the battle, he was out spied out Uriah's wife. He should have been out fighting. He had the months of winter to eat right and get his body strong and prepared to carry his shield and go forth. Damn it, he was out laying up eating pound cake and banana split. 
like what we are doing, every kind of silly little immature thing, we buy it. I'm a strong man. I tell folks, shut your damn mouth. And I'm not backing down. It's amazing that people think they can talk to y'all's messengers anyway. They're going to jump to a damn serpent of hell and bow down. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh-huh. These coward jackasses. They don't tell the boss, man, I got the knowledge you got. Say, what, old man? <clears throat> they have no regard for y'all's order. And they think they're wise. Oh, when I was on my job, I talked nice to the folks. Sure did. That's why I got the raises and I made more money than, yeah, I say it. I made more money than those that were degrees. I made more money than those that had been there 25 years. I made more money than them. Because I knew the principles of Torah. I was ignorant and still am, but I knew it worked. Can I read a little Father Yisrael? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is what we must do right here. Hallelujah. In Leviticus 6.18, this is the Torah. You got to offer up the meat offering. What is the meat? What meat or what is the bread off of the lechem, uh, uh, that offering? It tells us in Leviticus 6.18. He says, Leviticus 6.18, all the males among the children of Aharon, they shall eat what is left after the burnt offering. It is for them. Hallelujah. It says it shall be a stature forever in your generations. I'm glad that I can eat the dom. You're sure what he said to take my body. He says, for my body is flesh indeed and my blood is drink indeed. And he said, eat my body. I'm glad, sir. So glad that I can eat that part of your sure Hamashiach. I am one uh, of the knowledge of the sons of Aharon. I am one uh, that walks in the might of Yah's truth uh, with wisdom and understanding. Uh, he said they shall eat of it. It shall be a stature. We must eat uh, those that are leaders and those that call themselves uh, uh, more uh, and, and proclaimers of Yah's Torah. Reak, they call themselves Shulishak, uh, uh, apostles uh, uh, and noble prophets. Uh, they must eat out that bread. They must eat of that meat. Yes. I'm glad. I'm not the one of the 5,000 that walked away when he said, take my flesh, is meat. No. That's what he said, didn't he? Yes. It's meat indeed. He said, take heat. My flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed. Yes. Did they walk with him? They all turned. They all turned and walked no one with him. Why? You know why they didn't do that? Because they said it. For this is a hard thing. Yes. Who can receive it? See, they didn't receive it. Because they couldn't hear it. And that's the way this generation is. I've always said to us, the wicked will honor the wicked because they have, they, they have a process or they have a vehicle to, to get to the end of the means uh, to accomplish what they need. They will do that. But the people of y'all are so damn stupid. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. They don't know how to honor each other. They don't know how to esteem each other. They don't know how to look at the, the excellence of another. They don't know how to do that. It's about Yah, Yisra Yah. He said, there shall be a stature forever throughout all your generations. Hallelujah. Verse 22 of the same chapter concerning the Torah, concerning the meat offering. He says again, and the Kohan and his sons, that is anointing in his stead, instead of the Kohan, his son, that is anointing in his stead, shall offer this offering to Yah. It is a stature forever to Yah. It shall be wholly burned. You got to burn it. You got to burn the offering. Yah says this forever, throughout all your generations. How do we do it, Yah? Where do you even find a red heifer? Tell me, how do you do it? There's one. His name is Yoshua HaMashiach. And he paid the price for all. He is the Torah, is he not? And the word, I'm glad. He came into the world and the world knew him not. He came even to his own. That's why men, women today, they don't know a true messenger. Because they're looking through some polluted iron, through eyes that, that are so damn corrupt. When you can't see your corruption, something is sick in you. I don't care who you are. You're twisted. 
Your excellence is not to compare with someone else's excellent. What a wretched thing. Just like the publican said, Why am I? He smelt himself. And the scribe says, I'm excellent. I'm of a pedigree. I'm of great wisdom. I understand Torah. He said, I'm a damn wretched thing. Vile. I'd rather take that route. Hear me, Yisrael. I want to give you a little conclusion, the Torah, the conclusion of this, of the offerings, the meat offerings, those things that are olam viat. Leviticus chapter 7, verse 34. I'm not nowhere finished, all right? You're going to bear with me tonight. This is vital that I teach this. I recall going down to Atlanta and showing an ignorant man how stupid he was. And the only thing he could do was sit there mum and quiet. I say, go ahead and show me. Teach me what you're going to teach me. It took him 15 minutes to teach me. And then he read from a little piece of paper that he had gotten from someone else. I don't have no books up here. I got the scripture printed out. I don't have, I don't need no notes. So he read from this and I'm like, this is all you got? And you got to challenge me? And then when I began to break him down, well, it took me three hours. And when the ordeal was over, all he could do was sit there. He has never confronted me again. When he came visit us, he would confront the Ach. They won't confront me. They won't come to me. So they try to dissimulate. And those that have listened to men like that because of the shallowness of their mind, they don't know how to discern. It was one thing that my old bishop would say, let's go to the preacher man. And this man was in his 70s. And although he was a knowledge, no man knew scripture. He could quote it like any other, like no man could quote them. But he knew that he was among a man, uh, that he would give up everything to come and move uh, and die here with this Achia. You understand? Yeah. Still use the stove that he gave him. I say, Bishop, I'm taking this stove. He said, Preacher, I want you to have it. And I still use the stove that Bishop Banks used for 20 years, and I've been using it close to that. Same stove. My ox Simeon has had to build me uh, two or three of the, what you call for that thing, the grates. Same stove the old man gave me. Still use it. Same piece of glass in it that when he bought it. He protected me like I was his son. He protected me like I was his son. And he honored me like I was his leader. Sure he did. Can I move a little further? Let us deal with the conclusion of these offerings here in Leviticus 7, chapter 7, verse 34. Now this is what he commands us to do. He says here in verse 34, for the wave offering. I'm glad that he just said, wave your hand. Lift up Kado's hands. He said, I would that man would lift up his hands. And Paulo pray everywhere. That's what Yah says. That's all right. I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher. Above all, yeah, you both said no. I'm a preacher. That's what I am. Don't take down for any man on that. Listen to what he says. He said, "For the way breast and the heave shoulder have I taken of the children of Israel from off of the zebacha." To their shalom. He said offering. And I've given them to Haran and the Kohan. The Kohim. And the sons. Uh, he said I've given them that. This is what I've given unto Haran. Hallelujah. I'm glad that Yahshua said take learn of me. He says uh, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's what this offering of wave uh, and the shoulder offering represent. Uh, he bears us up uh, upon his shoulder, upon his back. Our uh, sins he bore them. He said, this belonged to the sons of Levi. He says, I want to decree it. It is a statue forever among the children of Israel throughout their generation. He did not say among the heathens. He said, but this is among the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Well, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't work. Can I proceed, my ark? Shimri, glad to see you, my friend. He says in Weyira, Leviticus chapter 7, verse 35. Hear this, Yisraya, Shemach above all things. He says, this is the portion of the anointing of Aharam and of the anointing of his son out of the offering of Yab made by fire. He said, this is what is appointed unto him, whereby this offering has been made unto me. He said, I want him to have that. 
Just like he said, Yisraya, I want you to have that. And I want you to be a blessing in the land you go. I'm going to scatter you, but I want you to have that. Like a zokke that brought out to us. In all of the mayhem of Yisraya. Go sure we had light. They had the shalom of Yah. He said, of all you're bringing me, I want them to have these parts. He said, in the day when you present them to the ministers of Yah, the Kohan office, which Yah command, Yah say, I command, it to be given to them, the children of Yisrael, in the day that he anoint them. Look what he says here. So that means that we must offer up the peace offerings and the offerings. This is the conclusion of all the offerings to Yah. This is what belongs unto the Levite. This is what Yah said I want them to have. But this is the catalyst here. He said it is for them by a hookah, by a statue. A hookah is what Yah has prescribed. It is the inscriptions of what is detailed in his instruction. He said, by a statue forever throughout their generations. Does it say that, Yisraya? Does it say throughout the generation? Does it say what I read in Bimit Bar first throughout the generation? Am I keeping with the same concept of thought? Sure I am. Stupid generation. You know when you tell people, you, you know I listen, people don't think I listen, but I listen before they even speak. I know what they're going to say. I tell people, I... You know, was, a woman called me today, she's there in Baltimore, and next Shabbat, I mean next Wednesday, I'm going to be on a live broadcast on a radio station that a person wants me to be on with them to talk about the Edomites. I'm going to rip that to hell. I'm not afraid of these false pseudo individuals. And I know how to talk the talk. See, it's that I'm thoroughly oppressed. You can't be a warrior without making sure your armament is sh your garment is prepared. I make sure my garments are prepared. I make sure my sword it is too edged. I make sure I'm prepared. I make sure I'm prepared. I don't sit on the computer and play video games for three, four, five hours and like a jackass. I don't do that. Yeah. I was compelled to get a little utensil like my boy back. They haven't even fired it up one time. What a shame. May give it away. You understand? I was kind of impressed with him. And every time the children would come over, Poppy, there go one. I say, get your hands off of it. I just can't do it. That ain't my forte. It's too boring for me. I like the book, Yisrael. Yah said, here's the conclusion of all of this. He said, it shall be a statue. It's a, a, in that day when Yah anoint them in Leviticus 7.36, it shall be a statue forever throughout your generation. So if I keep one part of this and not the other, how, how do I just open up the red heifer and don't wear my six? He said, I'm in trouble. I keep the Shabbat and don't offer up this. I keep the Shabbat and those that minister, there's not a process. There's no leveler. There's no brass pots. There's no washing. There's no cleansing. Then your shoe is of no effect, Yisrael. He's of no power. What is my garment? I put on the covering of the character of Yah. Put on the garment of Sadiqah. I put on the garment of gladness. Just like I put on the strange garments. I have all his garments. Just like the prince of the powers of the world did not know Yahshua when he came out. They don't know Yisrael. You can dress it the way you want to. They don't know you. You can think they know you because you got your big belt on. You know, it's amazing because there are so many different fringes and so many, you know, orders. It's, it's insane. And they, they're just like the stripes of the Pharisees that, that put burdens on the people. And the people find it difficult to serve Yah. That's all these beasts do. You got these big belly men like beasts, man. Where's your belt? I got on my mantle. Your shoe is my mantle. Can go around. Torah of ya. You don't have to love me. That's all right. I don't love myself at times. I get mad at me. Now, I don't get mad at you, but I get mad at me. You get angry with me. No, you haven't seen the Ebra, my Ebra roll. 
You haven't seen that. You can handle it. Or I will straighten you out. But you haven't seen that. Nah. Nah. You can handle it. I know I can handle this. Because I know what it's going to take. I had someone to call me yesterday from California. And they were telling me details of what things they're going through. I said, can I say something? What you are going through, this is the natural process of life. We live, we die, we're born, we have pains, we cry. We struggle. I mean, what, what did you expect? <laughs> you, you can't handle that. Well, you, you, you know, my sister said, that's silly. You go through the process of life. You have pains, you cry, you get upset, you get mad. Stop it. See how this whore has messed the people up. Pray for everything. Now we pray for his will be done. What is his will? His pleasure. Yah says, this shall be a statue forever. Look at the next verse. He said, this is the Torah. This is the Torah. This is the Torah of the burnt offerings, of the meat offering, and the sin offering, and the trespass offering, uh, mine. And the consecration of the set apart, uh, and the zebak of the offerings of Shalom. Now, all of that we need. And Yah said, this is it. And this is how it's done throughout all your generations. We miss the monk. Oh, oh, have sin and come short. I'm glad that your sure measures us according uh, to the law or the Torah in him or he, the Torah. Did he not say this is the Torah? It is Israel. It is the Torah. It is the instructions. It is the counsel of the mind of God to bring us into the perfect order of great strength and power that we are the ones that prevail. That's why in Yoshua HaMashiach we do all, all of this is done through the power of the testimony and the revelation of Yoshua HaMashiach. Yeah. We know these old corrupt garments here, we, we're going to put, put on the garments that are incorruptible. Yeah. It's like Yahushua, uh, uh, Yahushua, when he went before Yah, he says, ah, those garments are filthy. Can't come now. Hallelujah. Yeah. We're going to put on the righteous garment. That's why the message on Shabbat taught us the, the type, type garments, garments we should put on. Put on the garment of righteousness. What is Sadiq? Sadakh. Sadakha. It is the character, the characteristics of Yah. We should dress our minds uh, in the characters of, characteristics of Yah. They're the same character of Yoshua HaMashiach. You got these jokers out here. You got some uh, with the hair braided down. You got some with the, with the locks and all of that. And they think they give them an identity with Yah. It's silly, Yisrael. They think that that makes them uh, profoundly wise. And they're going back to their heritage. Show me a nation of people. I don't give a damn what their heritage is. Uh, it has produced nothing but death and lies. Look at the heritage uh, of Yisrael. Throw off the damn garments. Put on the garment of Sadiq. Throw off those damn false garments. It has brought hell and death and separation. Every kind of vile, wicked thing you offer your babies after hell, you burnt them in the valley of Hinnon. You followed every damn God that, that's imaginable that even the damn heathens didn't follow them. So damn your heritage. It means nothing. We have an inheritance in you through Yeshua HaMashiach. We ought to be ashamed of our forefathers. The only thing that keeps us afloat is the premise uh, to Abraham, Yudshaka, and Yaakov, not your damn dress. Now, you don't dress around with pants and dress like a faggot or whore. You dress our minds in the righteousness of Yah. As old preachers, I feel like preaching in here tonight. How about that? Get the devil mad. Hallelujah. The devil ain't my problem. He's given us power over that. I am my problem. You are your own problem. I am not. The devil is not my problem. No, he's not my problem. I will, man. I am the one that vexes me. I am the one that causes problems with me. I am not your problem. You all said it should be a, oh, it should be a statue throughout their generation. Does he say that? Uh, this is the total of the burnt offerings and the meat offerings and the sin offerings. My, I'm so glad God you all. Yeah, come on, what sin offering would I offer today? What trespass? I'm trespassing today. What trespassing offering? Uh, what, what offering of consecration? How do I get it right with y'all? Yeah. 
And the offering of shalom, I got shalom, Yisra'ah. The sweat of my brow bring the shalom of Yah. Because I do what he commands me. Which Yah commanded Moshe at Mount Sinai. In the days that he commanded the children of Yisra'ah to offer their oblation to Almighty Yah in the wilderness. What oblation and what honor we offer unto him? The oblation of praises, Yisra'ah. The oblation of great mirth, of the sweetness of the fragrance that flow from us. There are groups, I've seen them, whereby these fat men that call themselves leaders. I'm not trying to be funny when I use that expression, but I see these overly grotesque men. I've seen them as people join our site or our YouTube channel. I will take a few minutes to look at some of the videos. You see these men, they sit in what they call the house of Yah with big flagrance of wine and they drink as they carry out their service. But look what Yah says here in Leviticus. This is the Torah of what he forbids, the Kohan. Look what it says in Leviticus, we Yira chapter 10. This is the Torah of the wine that Yah forbids the Kohan in the service of his house. And there are many that sit at tables and they drink their wines. I know what I'm saying. Yah says in Leviticus 10, 8, And Yah spoke unto Aharon, saying, Do not drink wine nor strong drink. He's talking about Yah and the fresh wine or anything. He said, don't drink that. You or your sons uh, with you. Uh, when you go into the tabernacle of the congregation, unless you die. They're full of sin. These are the same ones that have called themselves having three, four, five wives. They have their tissues. They have their belts. They got their hats. They got their hair braided. I know what I'm saying, Yisrael. Hallelujah. He said, at least you die, it shall be a statue throughout your generation. He said, don't put the damn wine to your lips. Don't get drunk. Don't do that. There's no different than the Baptist devils and liars getting drunk on Saturday night and going to their whole houses on Sunday morning. They sit with the flagrance of their wines and they drink and they get drunk. It's a damn sin before Yah. He says, a statue forever. How about that? And they think they are right. I shall, my friend. I... Hallelujah. I'm not afraid of this generation. I'm a warrior. And I sure don't preach for money. I'm too broke to preach for money. Hallelujah. I'm broke. Just like maggot stone. All I got, I got it on. Hallelujah. And I don't even own that. Because death is coming. It is certainly you brought nothing into this world. And it's certainly you're not going to take anything out. Yah said this is a statue forever. Throughout all your generation. And that you put, that you may put different between the kodash and the profane. And between the unclean and the clean. Listen to what he says. And that you teach the children of Yisrael all the statutes which Yah has spoken to them by the hand of Moshe. Where, is, where, where, where on this earth where the people are taught all the statutes of, of Yah, uh, that, that Moshe? Oh, it's all in your shoe. Where, where is it? You can remember them? No, no way. You can remember the 613 yeah, to, uh, laws of the Torah or the Torah, uh, Torah instruction. You can remember them. And so you, you hold on your seek seek. Uh, no, y'all tell us to look up our redemption draw uh, Keep your eyes uh, on your Shua HaMashiach. Yeah. 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 Now look at this seek seek. I'm not afraid. People, they, they, they've already started posting uh, the message I preach. Uh, so you're telling me, one post said they were too cowardly to leave a name. Uh, be met part 15. I say, you silly boy. You silly individual. Come on, have a look, courage. Post your name up there. This is a twisted world. And among those that call themselves Hebrews, they got some twisted doctrines. They're crazy. I will deal with that next Wednesday when I go on the live broadcast on this, this radio station in Baltimore. Hallelujah. I told the individual, I like to talk about the Edomites. How about that? There are those that they get by on that people don't know how to respond. So they make them shut up and they listen to them. No, you don't do that to me. Not me. Not me. They make individuals shut up and they listen. Because they cannot resist 
They're gainsaying. That's a shame. Can I move a little further? I shall. Hallelujah. 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 Where did I stop? There's so much to this. Where? What, what book? 10, 11, what? Okay, okay. Leviticus. All right. So this is all the, the statutes that Yah spoke unto, uh, unto, uh, unto uh, Moshe to command Yisrael. Quickly, Leviticus 23, 14. Now this is the Pesach. Now this is what Yah says here now. Here in Pesach. Leviticus 23, 14. Now there are those that will, they will hold fast to be met, bar 15, until you got the way you seek, seek. But the same words, the same, uh, the same phraseology, the same words. Uh, Leviticus, <clears throat> hallelujah. The same words as I use the word door, I explain that it's important that we understand word definitive. Because the word door means generation. It comes from the Shemetic root, Shemetic. Not Semite, but Shemitic roots of the word Dura. Dura, D-U-R-A, Dura, which implies duration. Wherever you're dwelling, you must comply. You must be complicit. Same thing. Now, if we can wear the sick sick here in America, but we can't keep the, we can't keep the, uh, the, the more dim of God, we keep the Shema, then something is twisted in the doctrine. Put it in your shoeless hands. He will make it all right. That's what we need to do. Put it in. The hands of Yahshua, he is the Torah of Yah, he will make it all right. Yisra'ya, yes, listen. It says here in Wehira 23, 14, he tells us the Torah of Pesach, the Torah of the first fruit offering. This is what he says, listen now. He says, you shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears uh, until the selfsame day uh, that, you are brought, that you brought an offering to Yah. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generation. Now, this is the catalyst. He said, in all of your dwellings, you said, I don't care where you are. You must do this. So what is the offering that we bring? Do we bring the offering of Pesach? Of the Lamb? Or do we bring the offering of the praises of the Lamb? Of the Shua? Your Shua, the Lamb of Israel. Which one? He said, it must be. He said, this is the statue. Throughout all your generations. Uh, and he says, uh, he, he, he said, make sure I don't leave nothing unturned throughout all your dwellings. Wherever you are. Wherever your habitation is. And yet we find groups like this Israelite heritage there in Chicago. Tell you, you don't keep this. But you're going to hell if you don't want it is. Hold on. Everything I've heard is throughout your generation. And there are those that are afraid to deal with them. They don't know how to handle them. I'm not afraid. The only reason I answered that rebuttal because uh, someone had called me and said, you know, that's what they're saying. I said, oh, I've known that. You know, I don't even like to waste my time with the folly of the, of the doctor because it doesn't produce anything. There are those that have been with him, with that organization, that have called me, Ray, I, man, I, I, I just bless you, man. I, I know you tell the truth. Come on, man. They, you may know, I, I was a part of Israelite heritage. I said, I know of them. I don't know the man, but I know of them. I need something like this. Are you boasting? I'm just telling you the truth, what they say. Hallelujah. Move in quickly. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So y'all said these are the first fruit offerings. Same thing with the Feast of Pentecost in verse 21 of the same chapter. And you shall proclaim in the self same day that it may be a kadosh zikron convocation to you. And you shall do no survival sort of work therein. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwelling throughout all your generation. How do you receive one and reject the other? How do you take hold of one aspect of it? It's only through your show we can do it, Israel. We can gather on the Shabbat, it means nothing. Come on, the Seventh day Adventists do that. There are many religions, the Muslims do that. It doesn't mean a damn thing. I'm just being honest with you. It must be done as your commands us. We must do it in your shua. Yeah. Hallelujah. It has to be done. We can come if we don't bring the offerings like he commanded us, the offerings, the Torah, and praise. It means nothing, Yes, right? You can come all you want on the Shabbat. The Baptists go, I mean, they're, they're Seventh day Baptists. The Seventh day Methodist. I remember we went out to uh, went out to Texas up there. We went there. That, the man that he let preach there, he was a Seventh day Church of God, and that was only Seventh day. That, that was the only one they kept what they called the Shabbat. Is he keeping the Shabbat because he remembered this day? No, he's not keeping the Shabbat. 
He was only, when I talked to the old man, he was 70-something years old. I liked the old fella. We talked, we talked for a long time. I wept with him and cried. And he, was, he was the only church in the church of God that they are allowed to keep the, what they call the Shabbat. It doesn't mean anything. It's just like when someone says, I love you, and you know they don't love you. Don't tell me that lie. That's how much it means. Hallelujah. I want to finish this this evening. You'll bear with me. Same thing in the Feast of Atonement in 2331. Yah says, you shall do no man of work. It shall be a stature forever throughout all, throughout your generations and all your dwelling. What I'm trying to cause your mind to, to, to grab hold of is throughout all your generations. So you understand that there are things that do we do them? Are we doing all of this? We're not doing one-tenth of it. Because we cannot. It's only in your sure we can perform all things. And that's a fact, Yisraya. You can put on the front, you can put on the, 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 this look. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything at all, Yisraya. Hallelujah. It has no meaning at all. None whatsoever. Hallelujah. 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 Here's some instructions of the Torah, of instructions of matters concerning uh, 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 the Shabbat. Let, let me read this. I must read it in this order. Turn quickly. Uh, you're there at Leviticus, the next chapter. Leviticus 24, verse 1. This is again the Torah of the lamp, of the light, in the bed of Yah. Now listen to what he says. You must understand this. I don't want to jump here to understand the expressiveness of the instruction. you got to understand it from the beginning. It says here in Leviticus 24, 1, when Yah spoke unto uh, uh, Moshe, unto Aharon, concerning uh, the oil of the lamps, and Yah gives us the ingredients of the oil. you got to do it that way. You understand? And the lamps, the near. The Torah is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. That's what it is, Yisrael. So Yah speaks in Leviticus 24, verse 1, and Yah spoke to Moshe, saying, Command, Savah, with all authority, the children of Yisrael, that they shall bring me your pure olive oil beaten for the light. He said, I command them to do that, and they must do it. Beaten for the light. To cause the lamps to burn continuously. He said the menorah shall burn continuously. You have to cause the lamp to burn continuously. We must allow the, 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 the Ruach of Yah's wisdom to burn continuously. The Ruach HaKodesh must burn continuously. The Ruach of wisdom uh, must burn continuously. Of Hukmah. It must burn. He says outside of the veil of the testimony. See Yahshua he caused the veil to be torn down did he? He said, outside of the veil of the testimony, in the tabernacle of the Moed place, uh, shall the Haran order it from evening until morning uh, before Yah. He said, continuously, continuously. And he says, it shall be a statue. He did not say that the six things shall be a statue. He said, but this shall be a statue forever in your generations. How do you do it? Who are the wise counsel? I know how you do it. It's only in your sure. That's why I'm glad. I'm so glad he was the offering. He was the bread offering, the meat offering. He was the purifier. The, the heifer, the splinking of the heifer's ashes couldn't do nothing. Because they went right back and sinned. But the sprinkling of the dumb of Yahshua purifies. Washes and make us whole again. In the same chapter 24 down in verse 8. He gives us more instructions on this matter. He said every Shabbat. Every Shabbat, he shall set it in order before Yah continuously. Being taken of the children of Yisrael, Leviticus 24, 8. Being taken of the children of Yisrael by an everlasting Brit or Olam Viat or a Brit Olam or covenant that is from Yah. It is his betrothing, his, his allegiance with us. That's what the covenant or the Brit is. He says this now. And it shall be a Haran and his son, and they shall eat of it they shall eat of it you understand these are the conclusions of the matters uh, of the offering they shall eat of the heat offering uh, and the breast of they shall eat of it they shall eat of it the only them in the kodash place kadosh place it shall it shall be most kodash to him uh, of the offering of yah made by fire for a perpetual a olam viet it shall be a statue that shall never cease well, Yah says, Olam, or Olam Viat, it is perpetual, continuous, without ceasing. It cannot be brought down. Right. Yah cannot speak something and it's done away with. No. Everything he said is pure. We must fulfill it all. 
And we can't fulfill it by our own actions and our own deeds and our own ability. We must, that's why we must come in at the door. If we come in any other door, we're a thief. We try to end in through some kind of religious order, some kind of self-righteous order because of our dress like the Strobes and the Pharisees. And they wore their palatres, they wore their turbans, and they wore their, they wore their clothing and everybody noticed them. You understand? But they were full of hypocrisy and full of sin and full of wickedness. That's what they were full of. They justify every kind of wicked thing they do. I don't want to justify nothing I do. Nothing. Nothing, Yisra'ya. Yeah? Nothing. In the house of Yisra'ya, there was a total of the sound, and we blow the ram's horn, don't we? But there were two silver horns that Yah said, listen to this and be met by numbers. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Excuse me. We greet you all. We're going to be with you for a few more moments. I don't know if I can finish this. Okay, I'll try. I'll get most of it. You can take it up from here. But I want to read this in the book of Bimidbar. He's talking about the two silver trumpets or the shofan. And, and they were for the calling of the gather of the assembly. You know, the, the silver, they were silver. And they would blow them and, and he called the assembly together. And this is what Yah says. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm glad I hear the voice of Yahshua. Sure. Yeah. Hallelujah. What, what do you mean? He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do all that I command you. So that's the shofar, that's the voice that we hear. We hear the reading of the Torah, we hear it from the book. Yah says this in Numbers 10, 8. And the sons of Haran and the Kohim shall blow the shofar of the trumpets, uh, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. Uh, be met by Numbers 10, 8. Did he say for a season or throughout your generation? Throughout your generation. So we have failed miserably, have we not? But I'm glad that Yahshua HaMashiach, I'm glad that uh, he has sound the alarm. Zohim Birmi says, sound the alarm in the Kodesh city of Omar Yarushalayim. But I'm glad that he sounds the alarm. I like his alarm better. I can't play it. Shivery blows it better than all. I, mine sounds, uh, sometimes I come in his right. But the majority of the time is wrong. But that's all right. So I'm glad that he sounds... He sounds the alarm. And the alarm that he says, uh, yeah. He says, yes, yeah, one, that, that's what I want you to hear. Yeah. And he said, this shall be a, this is a statue forever throughout your generation. And we that I am, you see, there's an offering that was a sin offering for ignorance. I must offer that offering every day. But there's a con construct as the Torah tells us what the offering shall be. Is it in the book? Well, be made bar numbers 15, 22. This is the offering of the sin offerings uh, of ignorance. Be made bar numbers 15, 22. He says, if, if you have erred uh, and not observe all these commandments, we have not observed all these commandments. No one. He said, which Yah has spoken to Moshe, uh, even all that Yah has commanded, uh, you... By the hand of Moshe, he says this, from the day that Yah commanded Moshe, oh, I know he uses the word henceforth here, doesn't it? He said henceforth, yeah. but onwards uh, among you, he said throughout your generation, this you shall do throughout all of your generation. You should obey all the commandments throughout all your generation. That it shall be if anything be committed by ignorance, see, without knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for the burnt offering. Ah, you hear that? So where's the bullock? Where's the offering? What is this offering for? I don't like this word, but I read it for the importance of identity. For a sweet savor to Yah. It's not your sure the sweet fragrance of the offering unto Yah. Does it say that in your rendition? That's what he says. Now, I know it may say henceforth and all that in the part that I read, but that is throughout or onward throughout all your generation. That's what that implies. So if someone sins in ignorance, uh, well, I'm glad I can just fall at all and say, Yah, forgive me. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. oh, yeah, I'm just ignorant. Oh, yeah, help me. And say, my brother, my uncle, I'm wrong. I can't get I did you wrong, man. I'm just sorry. I'm just wrong. He said, if you sin in ignorance, there must be a ball. We must offer one. Y'all can't lie. He goes back on his word, then I'll say it like this because I know he can't come. There's, you know, by his own immutability, y'all cannot lie. We must, all this must be performed. 
And the only way it can be is through a faithful power of the testimony of Yeshua. No other way, Yisrael. You can try to do it all you want to. You're going to fail every day. That's why they fail miserably. You understand? They fail miserably. It's only in your shoe can we do it. Hallelujah. He said you should offer a bullock for a burnt offering for a sweet smell or a sweet savor to Yah with his meat offering and his drink offering according to the manner of one kid of the goats or the sin offering. We must do that. Must be the escape goat and the sin offering, the goat of the, uh, of the sin. So we don't have enough goats around here. We're in trouble. We, we only have, what, 12 goats now. We had 20. We sold half of them the beginning of this year when the market was up. So we're in trouble. We're in trouble. But I bless Yah for the dumb of your shoe. Hamashiach. Hallelujah. 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 I'm glad that I have no inheritance in this life. And that is what it was with the Levi. And so, I, see, and if we look at this thing in the, in, the, in the respective manner as concerning Yahshua, we can see that we can eat and before we can get, eat all the riches of Yah. As Yah speaks here in the book of Bimit by Namas 18.23. This is the Torah of the Levite, their portion, because they have no inheritance. I have no inheritance. My inheritance is in Yahshua. So I can eat the dam of Yahshua. I can eat the body of Yahshua. I can drink the blood because this is the life. He says here in Namas 18.23, but the Levite... Uh, Shall do no service, shall do the service of the beat or the tabernacle of the congregation, and they shall bear their iniquity. My, I'm glad that Yahshua bears my iniquity. Yeah. He said, The Levi, I can't even bear my own iniquity. And they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statue, how long? Forever? How long? Throughout all of their generations. Yeah. So our sins we're bearing if Yahshua has not cleansed us. We're all going to hell. Not one is going to escape. We must be strong men's warriors with our swords drawn and bathed in the blood of sin. You can talk all the damn talk and slick talk and all the talk of your verbiage all you want to. The man is a warrior. It represents in the power of his visage. Talk to someone else that way. Don't talk to me, man. I, I don't want to talk to you. Go on. Silly man. Silly woman. I don't want Come on. That's right. Hallelujah. He says she'll be in a statue forever throughout your generation that they must bear. Then yes, you, I don't need him. No, give me Yahshua, yeah, yeah. for he bared in that body all the hata'ah, the sins, the ovon of Yisrael. I'm so glad. Didn't need no more bullock offering. Didn't need no sprinkling of the ashes of the red heifer. But he said this should be done throughout all your generations. But you are so wise, beyond our ability to comprehend. He said, I got the lamb, as Abraham said, to, I offer this boy up to you. And Yah says, boy, I, I love what I see. There's, oh, right, there's a ram in the bush. Come on. And your shoe is that bona fide ram. Ain't nothing like a ram. He, he means business. You understand? That goat out there said the ox to me. I say, boy, he can't be so mean. I say, man, it's just insane how mean he is. I watched him one day when I put a little corn out. I watched him though. I say, man, this is the same beast that got all of these, all these nannies ready to have his litter. His own sons, he drove them to the ground. He knocks them down. Hallelujah. So glad for the dam of your shoe. So glad. So glad. Hallelujah. I want to read this concerning the Torah or the red heifer. Hallelujah. In the book of Numbers chapter 15. This is what it says. And I want to read a few more. We're going to close. All right. I want my Zakin to get down the road. It says in the book of Numbers chapter 19 and verse 5. This is the Torah of the ashes of the red heifer. This is how she must be burned. Numbers chapter 19 verse 5. 
He said, and what shall burn the heifer in his sight? Her skin and her flesh and her blood with her dung shall be burned. All of that must be burned. This is the consuming of the stench of Yisra'iyah. We'll bathe ourselves in our own filth and our own dung. He said, the Kohan shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast it in the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the Kohan shall wash his clothes and shall bathe his flesh in water. And afterwards he shall come into the camp and the Kohan shall be unclean until the evening. And he shall burn her. And he that burns her shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his flesh in water. And he shall be unclean until the evening. A man that is clean shall gather the ashes of the heifer. Listen to this. And lay them outside of the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of Yisrael. For what? For a water of separation. Come out of this world, separate yourself. Now this is what Yah says. It is a purification for sin. Do you all hear that? Well, that was for them. But now he says in the next verse. He that gathered the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothing, he shall be unclean until the evening. And it shall be to the children of Yisrael and to the stranger that sojourn among us uh, a stature forever. What do we do, Yah? If we don't have the red heifer, the offering of our sin offering, the purification, and the Kohan, where are the pure men? Where are the men that, that understand the process? We're in trouble. He said forever, O Elam, it is a statue, a hukha, it is an ordinance of Yah forever. Yahshua is the everlasting Torah of Yah. And everything was in that body. Every offering, I'm so glad. He had the right color, six, six, two, tizzles. Hallelujah. He had that. I'm so glad. Hallelujah. Casey, what color? Everybody got their own color. Oh, no, it must be royal blue. No, it must be light blue. No, it got to be that. You silly people. Hallelujah. I want to give you an account as to how powerful the word forever throughout your generation, what it resonates. Can I do that? I'll give you one scripture to show you that. Just that phraseology. It's in Tehillim, Psalms 135 and 13. To show you what it resonates and what it is, the parative of this. Psalms 135 verse 13. It says, your name, Hashim, the name. Your name, Oya. Endures forever. Did he not? I use the word forever. Did I not utilize that Olam Viet quite often tonight? He said, your name endures forever. And your memorial, your great power, your great works, your great zigrons. Psalms 135, 13. And your great works. He says, oh yeah, throughout all generations. That's the power of Tomin Dur. Or Dur Tomin. See, his name endures forever, doesn't it? Throughout all generations. So he commands us that. That's why we come in Yeshua's mighty name. He see the garment of Yisra'ya just like in the strange garment. We've all been invited to the wedding feast, have we not? Yeah. We're going to have the garments on right. Honey, you're not going to Macy's or Saks Fifth Avenue New and get the garments you're going to wear there. It's got to be the garment of Sadiq. It's got to be the garment that is bathed in the dam of Yeshua. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the garment we're going to wear. You understand the garment of the righteousness of Almighty Yah in Yeshua. We must know this. I close. Let me close with this. As Shaul writes unto us in Ephesians. Ephesians 3.20. He says, Now to him that is able to do exceedingly abundant above all that we think, that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be honor and splendor in the congregation of Yeshua HaMashiach, when? Throughout all your generation. 
it is him that is able. We have all fell the great, all right? He says throughout all generations, uh, throughout all the ages, uh, world without end, and let it be, oh man, oh man, let it be so, hallelujah, let it be. We must do what he commands us throughout all uh, of our generation. I can show you those statues that are forever, oh Lama, I can show you tons of them. We're not performing one of them, but it's only in your shoe. May the riches of Yah. I want to teach that tonight. I thought it was important. That, and there was another message I want to teach, but uh, someday you yes, will. Uh, I know I don't say it to be boastful, but I have hundreds and hundreds of messages that I've never taught. And I mean, they're profound teachings. Maybe one day I'll just put a, compile them all in a big old book. I got, I got books over there, reams of just... Because what I do, I tend to laminate my messages so when I talk I don't spit on them and I got reams and reams of just messages I preach some I've never preached and I've got so much on my computer it's crazy I can't even find it but I know how to title it so when I want to when I'm thinking about that I can go find it and work on it a little more and work on that and put it back and work on it a little more and it becomes even more refined that's why we must we must meditate and study we must these damn computers and all these videos, it has messed up the minds of the people. They sit on that damn thing all day long and all night. And that's the truth. That's the truth. And they call themselves reading a little bit. They, I can't see this, but. And that's studying. Lechach. Nah. You will go to hell. That's a fact. I don't take that back. He means what he says. You do that to show yourself approved unto Yah as a labor. And you must rightly divide. And when you go out there in the field and labor, you know when you're laboring, all right? You feel that. May Yah enrich you. As they would say, come on, my haters. I like haters. I like to crack their backs when they... Let me see that again, Aksanya. I like to crack the haters' backs when they write me. You got a problem. No, you got the problem. That's why you responded to the message. See, the message is a problem to you. It's not a problem to me. So I like to crack their backs. I do. I crack their backs too. You're supposed to be a man of God. Damn God, I'm not a man of God. That's what you are. That's why you respond to me this way. They don't know how to take that. But I want to get rid of them. Send me an offering. Help me stay. Send an offering. You sit here and listen to me. Get off this. Don't write me, man. Take up my time like this. You send an offering, man. We don't need that money. I'm making it. I tell him, send me an offering. Send me an offering. Can't do that. We're going somewhere else then. Don't waste my time. Why do you waste my time like this? You silly juvenile sap. Silly old questions. Silly immature questions. I mean, questions have no relevance. What happened to the fish during the anti diluvian What happened to the, uh, to the crow? What happened to the raven that didn't come back? You know, that's what people ask. Well, you know, the showbread, you know, well, you know, how do we, how do we deal without the showbread? Where's the showbread? Well, I eat the lechem. You eat the show. I eat the lechem. I eat the bread of life. Your shoe is my bread, all right? And feed me as that we say, feed me until I want to. Just give me bread. That's all I want. This is a generation that's ignorant. I, I don't understand. I, I, it's appalling. I, I look and I hear there and say, this is just insane. I, people don't even think. They don't even think today. They don't know how to think. The man thinking himself to be something. You don't realize he's nothing. I'm nothing. I know. I don't have no problem saying I'm nothing. I know I'm nothing. I don't compare myself with no man. No man. No man. I don't. Never. You want to raise him? I don't want to raise him because they show what I got. <laughs> they got what he got. Hallelujah. I know that. That's why I want to raise him. I want to raise him. I do. I want to raise him. Am I going to win? Sure. You know I'm going to win. No doubt about it. I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. I'm going to win. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to win. I'm going to win because I'm going to win for me. Oh, he may beat me. He may be in front of me, but I still win. See, I don't look at winning like that. We are so silly. We need help. 
We people need help. He's young, he's stronger, he's more powerful. Do I reject that? No, I bless that. And then I feel it, that big back say, man, that's a back boy. That, that's insane, man. That's sad. No why it's like that. May the riches of Yah rest upon you, Yisrael. Yeah. Let us learn how to esteem others more highly than ourselves. And, and bless others. I don't have no problem with that. Never have. Yeah. Hallelujah. Never. Let's learn how to do that. Bless our ach, our hearts. To the Yah for them. We bless you all, Yisrael. Yeah. We hope you got home at time, uh, Ak Davis. Bless you, my friend, precious brother. He is. I met a lot of men that talk a lot of talk, but this is one brother. He backs up his talk. He says, no way. And I bless you, my friend. We're coming to stomp down the grounds of L.A. Cali. We're going to cause that devil to run. I'm not afraid, but we're down into the jungles of Africa in all of my ignorance. I know in my ignorance today I can go to L.A. I'm not worried about the Crips of the blood. Not one minute. I have the Crips of the blood. Listen to me. Sure I will. Why? You don't, you don't. I know how to deal with them young boys. They ain't no problem. Because they're all fearful and intimidated. That's why they packing. They ain't got no action. Talk to me. I can deal with them boys. I know how to convey and to present myself. I'm not worried about the Crips and the blood. I'm worried about them, them Crip Hebrews. They call themselves Hebrews that are Crip. The ones that call themselves Hebrews and they're blooding too. They're killing people. They're lying to them. They're speaking of some little, little tidbit they heard someone say and they take it and they run with it. That's silly. I've never done that. I don't hear nothing on news and run with it. I've never done that. I've never heard somebody just run with it. You say something to me, I... I my approach is to be quiet. But you can bank on one thing. I'm going to, I'm going to say everything there is to know about it. Next time we talk, you better be ready. So you speak something strange to me, I don't understand. I'm, okay. All right. I don't recall that, but I'll look. I'll give me, I'll look. So the next time you better be ready. I've always been that way. Hallelujah. So it was like a man taking the Torah, take two or three scriptures, he's going to preach from that and just get up and talk. I talk, but I talk with wisdom of what's in the book. May you have rock you all, bless you all. Can I dismiss that king? All right then. We appreciate all of you that have joined us. Send an offering. Hallelujah. Don't go out trying to get the Black Friday special. Send an offering. We use it here for what? Don't worry about what we use it for. When you come, we'll take care of you. We'll feed you. You eat well. I told Ock Davis what I cooked. He said, man, I went out the other day here in L.A. and I bought me some oxtails from this Jamaican restaurant. He said, man, you talking about something. I said, wait till you come. I want to make sure I got you some oxtails, man. Better than the Jamaican oxtail. How about that? He said, man, he loves to eat. He said, send me some food. I said, I said, you know, food out there, man. He said, I pay for it, Ray. I just sent me some. I said, man, I'm not sending nothing. I said, the reason I'm not going to send it is going to make you, you're going to have to come here and get some. Or we come rather. I said, so you need to get to come. He said, I'm coming. I said, well, come on, get it then. I'll cook for you. Yabarak you all. May he bless you all. Yes, sir, yeah. Let us stand to our feet. Yabarak you, Masaki. Let's turn toward Yerushalayim. In all things we do, Barak you are Abba. May your word be a blessing to all Yisraya. Strengthen your nation, your people. Help them wherever they are. We told them you for all things. And the blessed assurance of the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Bless your people and family. We pray for all in Yeshua's name. Give us wisdom and guidance. Let's stay healed. Our bodies, we need to be healed, Yah. All of us. Touch us for the pains and the healing. Yah, please, in Yeshua's name. We just... And pray that you are, you, are Yafa, you are Yahweh Rafa. So you are a healer. We trust you. We ask all things in your shoes, mighty name. From the depths of our bosom, we shout, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.